Hi, in this video I'll show you how to find the last day of a month. So let's say we have a list of dates here. Uh, these are just various dates from 2009 and to 2013. And we wanted to find out what is the last day of that month. Well, there is an Excel function that does that. Uh, there's one function that does that. There's also another function that does that uh, based on a couple of different functions. So I'll give you examples of both. So the EO month function is basically the end of month function. So you just type EO month. I'm going to go ahead and tab that to um, complete it. And the start date is going to be that date. And the months, basically what it's going to do is it's, it can give you the end of month uh, a couple months out ahead, maybe one two months out ahead, three months out ahead. But if we just wanted to find out what is the end of the month for that particular month, we just used zero. So when you do that, close parentheses, press control to stay in that cell, control enter, it will give us the general serialized format of a uh, date here. And so we can change that. Uh, basically, this is Excel's way of seeing dates as a serial number. We can go under the uh, Home tab, under the number group and under this drop down, go ahead and just click on the short date or long date. I just prefer the short date here. And we find out that the last day of the March of 2010 is March 31st. And if I double click it to bring it down, that will copy the formula down and we'll see the corresponding last days of those months. Now, if we wanted to use a different function, uh, there's another example of how we can use some additional functions to do that. It could be the date function with the year, month, and day. What the date function does is it takes the components of a date and puts it into a serialized time format. So it will take out the, the arguments that it takes is the year, month, and day, and it will put that into the serialized uh, format for uh, Excel. But what we can do is we can take uh, year, month, and day functions, put it into the date function, and then we can also find out what the last day of that year, what, what the last day of that month is. So the, the way to do it is to type equal date, uh, open, tab to open that parentheses, the year, I'm going to type the year function, tab to open the parentheses there, and click A2, which is going to be that whole date. It's just going to take out the year of that date, so it's going to take out 2010. I'm going to close parentheses. The next thing it's going to ask for after I type the comma is the month. So I'm going to type month here. And month, tab, and then click on that cell again, and it's going to take the month out of that cell. And then day, what I'm going to do with days, I'm not going to select that cell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in zero. What it does is, um, this fun the function, what it does is it adds a month to the date in uh, this cell here, or whatever cell you're referencing. And when you use zero for the day, this is going to force Excel to return to the last day of the previous month. So, that, so if I go ahead and close parentheses here, press Control Enter to stay in there. So you see what it's done is it's gone back to the previous month. So what I can do now is I can go in here and add plus one, and it's going to take me to the next month in a way. So what it what it does it, it kind of went backwards. We we referenced this month, and then we went back one day because of the zero, and then we just added uh, an extra month to it, and that gave us the last day of the month. So you can see if I copy it down, we have the last day of each of the months here. So that's kind of a little bit of a hack there. Uh, you can use either way, either the EO month function or this date year, month, day function. So there's two examples of how you can use uh, functions to find out the last day of the month. Now this would probably be the most easiest to use, but sometimes you don't get the, the date in a format which is nice and clean. Maybe you get it in, in different ways or in different cells, and you would have to use the year, month, and day functions to find it from different cells or from different formats, and then put it back into the date function. So that's how that would work. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.